Hello, dear students. Uh, I welcome you to course Introduction to Computers. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to discuss the computer security measures. I'm uh, Dr. Mazhar Ali, uh, the course instructor. The computer security, also called the uh, cyber security, provides the protection to computer systems and information from harm, theft, and unauthorized use. So computer hardware is typically protected by the same means used to protect other valuable or sensible equipment, namely the, the serial numbers, doors, and walls, and alarms. Computer data security uh, is a process of protecting files, databases, and accounts on the network by adopting a set of controls, applications, and techniques that identify the relative importance of different data sets, their sensitivity, regularity, uh, compliance, compliance requirements, and then applying appropriate uh, protections to secure uh, those uh, resources. So the, the core elements of data security are confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Since the confidentiality uh, ensures that the data is accessed only by authorized individuals. Integrity ensures that information is reliable as well as accurate, and availability ensures that data is both available and accessible to satisfy business needs. Therefore, the security, uh, computer security, uh, the concept uh, behind the computer security is to provide security to uh, the computer hardware, and to the computer data and uh, to computer networks. So what type of the security measures should be taken? Um, I will discuss to you uh, in this lecture. Now, when we are uh, using computer and or we are, when we are using different networks or when we are using the internet, we get different threats. That is called the cyber threat that may be called the computer uh, thread, that may be called the internet thread. So these threads uh, means anything that can harm a computer. Threat is basically anything that can harm a computer or that can harm a network or that can harm your data or that can harm uh, the software. So a cyber security threat or cyber threat is a malicious act that seeks to damage data steal data or disrupt uh, digital life in general. So cyber attacks include threats like uh, computer viruses, data breaches, and uh, denial of the, the denial of services, commonly called the DOS uh, attacks. That means what type of the attacks are done by denial, uh, denial of services. So uh, here the vulnerabilities uh, definitely when attacks uh, uh, happens or when any computer is attacked by the virus or attack or uh, uh, intrusion or any malicious thing, it shows there is a weakness. There is a vulnerabilities in the networks of the computer systems or web systems or servers or so on. So a uh, security vulnerability is a weakness or flaw or error found within a security system that has the potential to be uh, leveraged by threat agent in order to compromise a secure network. Or a vulnerability uh, can be exploited by a threat actor, such as uh, an attacker to cross privilege boundaries uh, uh, that is uh, uh, perform unauthorized actions within a computer system. Therefore, the risk is the potential of a significant Im uh, impact resulting from the exploit of a vulnerability. So the vulnerability is of different types, uh, such as the network uh, vulnerabilities. So the, these are basically issues with the network's hardware or software that expose it to possible intrusion by an outside party. For example, insecure Wi-Fi access points uh, uh, points and poorly configured firewalls. These are the types of the network vulnerabilities. Another vulnerability is the operating system vulnerability. Uh, these are vulnerabilities within a particular operating systems that uh, hackers may 
exploit to gain access to an asset the OS is installed on or to cause damage. Uh, for example, default super user accounts that may exist in some operating system installs and hidden uh, backdoor programs. Third vulnerability is a human vulnerability. The weakest link in many cybersecurity architectures is the human element. User errors can easily expose sensitive data, create uh, the uh, what uh, it create the exploitable access points for attacks or disrupt systems. This is all things may be done by the human because human is uh, not error free. Human always uh, after any type of the uh, error. So it is a very weak um, uh, element uh, in the uh, computer system process. And fourth one is a uh, process vulnerabilities. Now some vulnerabilities can be created by specific process control or a lack thereof. So one example would be the use of weak passwords, which may also fall under human vulnerabilities. So as a business model digitized, hackers are adapting uh, to sophisticated techniques to breach enterprise networks and uh, or still even data. So for enterprises, the biggest challenge is to detect a single well-clocked threat in an ocean of network traffic rather than a merely react. So security solution definitely emerge all the time to address potential vulnerabilities that arise your system, your networks, your web servers, other servers may be damaged and you may get a lot of losses. So to get ahead of the problem enterprises require smarter way to detect the response to and contain sophisticated zero day attacks. This solution that uh, provide a holistic view into endpoint behavior, not just alerts from point solutions operating in uh, silos. So neutralize threats across the uh, threat defense life cycle means security attempts to neutralize the threats. Uh, when the threats will be neutralized, definitely a system may remain the safe. So to do this, enterprise may choose uh, to operate on the enterprise threat defense life cycle, uh, protection, detection, and uh, uh, correction, and how uh, defenses at each stage can be effective. So different companies uh, provide you tools uh, that may utilize uh, unified tools to detect unknown, quickly correlate, uh, correlate the risk and correlate the uh, threat before it uh, escapes, like the Cisco's uh, devices or the other uh, CIOs, CDOs, and different devices may be used to uh, stop the, the attackers and make the system secure. So, endpoint, no doubt, the endpoint plays a critical role in the threat defense life cycle. Uh, a, light, a sound strategy for endpoints embraces three overarching principles. The endpoint should act as the foundation of defenses and uh, the deepest source of insight. This is the first point. Second point, endpoints and security solutions should share real-time intelligence and actionable forensics. Second point. Third point is all of the defenses should work together and with the endpoint in order. Uh, collaborative centralized way so they can uh, react to threats automatically. So these are the things by which you may uh, neutralize the threats. Now threats may be of different uh, levels or these harm, uh, there may be the different degrees of the harm or threats uh, that may um, damage the system. So these potential damages, uh, maybe the, uh, you may get the data loss, you may get the privacy loss, you may get the, you may uh, be, uh, get the hardware loss or inability to use hardware, inability to use the software then it, because of uh, these harms. So what is harm? So harm in a computer system, uh, when you are connected to internet, this is called the cyber harm. So uh, means harms. Cyber harm. So cyber harm is uh, damaging consequences resulting from cyber events which can originate from malicious, accidental or natural phenomena uh, manifesting itself within or outside of the internet. 
तो नेगेटिव कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ एन एक्सरसाइज थ्रेट इज हार्म we protect ourselves uh, against threats in order to reduce or uh, eliminate harm <clears throat> a malware that is a, a harm that is also harm so malware pro, uh, damage the potential rating uh, may be high medium or low based on the uh, it's a, a inherent capacity to cause both direct and indirect damage to systems or networks so certain malware are designed specifically to delete or corrupt files causing direct damage a malware with a high damage potential does the following to these high damage uh, high damage is a basically level or degree of the malware or harm that damage the devices and networks so what it does it means to become unusable it make the system it make the hardware unusable make the software unusable and uh, stop uh, to not boot or restart the operating system or computer system or networks even so uh, to require backup data or to recover the system um, definitely the, uh, this is a uh, uh, malicious Uh, these harms uh, give the loss. So network traffic is significantly affected. Uh, uh, a large amount of network traffic uh, may be affected by these uh, type of the malicious uh, or this type of the uh, harms. So making the computer uh, inaccessible uh, or even unusable when they attack, they make the network. Uh, uh, inaccessible they make the computer inaccessible and so on second uh, degree of harm or second level of harm is a medium level medium level means malware with a medium damage uh, that um, uh, give loss to the computer systems but not like as a uh, high level or high damage so in this level in this degree of harm what happens opens the system device or a device or a network to allow intrusion what uh, whatever any type of the intrusion is the most cases of the big doors intrusion almost comes from the big door means you cannot see intrusion or further infections even as in the most cases of malware dropping or downloading the mm, other malware as well so in second wave it damage, uh, damage can be recovered using your anti malware solution if you have uh, installed anti virus or anti malware solution or any tool to so install you may uh, recover your data and the system but damage uh, how well damage can be even uh, recovered by fixing clean tools with, with the uh, installed tools antivirus tools or firewalls so on third level uh, of our third degree of the harm is a very low level that is not dangerous that is not dangerous means if it's, uh, it occurs you just restart your system and you get your system safe so that is not so much uh, significant and dangerous But data loss, no doubt, that is a great loss. So data loss occurs when data is accidentally uh, deleted. Sometimes uh, it is deleted accidentally, or something causes data uh, to become corrupted. Now, what something causes the data to become corrupted? That is the malware. That is the malicious agents. That is the uh, individuals or others which uh, damage your data, like the uh, viruses, physical damage, or formatting errors can. and the data and read the by both humans and software so uh, losing files and documents often have a lasting impact on your company's financial health because main data uh, is uh, lost so as a manager or as a head you have to take care of your systems and your data servers and networks another thing is privacy <clears throat> so uh, privacy is a is basically it is the state of being free from public scrutiny or from uh, having your secrets or personal information shared so when you have your room that uh, no one uh, enters and uh, you can keep all of your things there away uh, from the eyes of others so this is an example of situation Uh, where you have a privacy or this is the example of privacy you want to keep your things keep your uh, your personal things away from the other 
persons but if it is uh, attacked then the loss of privacy may be done so this stealing and manipulating of a private information by malicious attackers is a commonly known as a privacy loss or privacy violation so passwords certificates credit cards credit card details your debit card details social security numbers addresses mobile numbers and email ids are usually targeted in this malicious attack that lose your privacy so a malfunction Uh, within the electronic circuits or electronic uh, components like the hard disk the tape disks uh, and so on of a computer system so the recovery from a hardware failure uh, requires a repair uh, replacement of the uh, offending part so contrast with the software failure because in if your software failure so um, that is a difficult and a tough to replace or uh, recover so as because software failure occurs when the user perceives means when user when software uh, when software uh, failure occurs when the user perceives that the software has ceased to deliver the expected result so the user may need to identify uh, the severity of the levels of failures such as a catastrophic critical major or a minor depending on their uh, impact on the what impact on the uh, systems oh uh, what should we do definitely we, we should uh, take some counter measures to save ourselves to save our software to save our hardware to save our networks Save uh, servers. So, what is a control major? Control major is an action, basically, or a device, procedure, or a technique uh, that reduces a threat, a vulnerability, or an attack by eliminating or preventing it. So, by minimizing the harm it can cause, or by discovering and reporting it, so that corrective action can be taken. Identifying. Uh, Uh, definitely in this uh, i think we have to identify some steps so it's still taken to block threat now therefore we have to identify the step we have to perform some counter measures to block the threat what is coming from the malware what is coming from the intruders intruders or hackers and so on and protect the data from theft because uh, they may enter in your system and thief your data and protect the system from the theft means a hardware and software both you have to network servers you have to uh, protect from these type of the theft by performing counter measures and this is the basic security concept because uh, what we do at our homes we secure our homes from the externals that no one can enter our home so we uh, close the door and other things uh, and uh, other sources where someone enter in our home we close all the things and even we take care of our home security all days we always remain active to secure our home so to secure your computer system to secure your networks and servers you have to be active and to take some counter measures Now, in thieving or in attacking, there is one concept that is identity theft. So, identity theft occurs when uh, someone uses your personal identifying information and pretends to be you in order to commit fraud or to gain other financial benefits. So, once thieves uh, access this information, uh, they may use it to commit identity. Uh, theft or sell it on the dark web because when they uh, steal your data, where they will do? Uh, so they uh, sell to others. So there is a market, uh, crime market that uh, use the dark web. My lecture is available on the dark web uh, already. So I try to keep the link of that um, uh, lecture in the description, and it's a very important. Uh, because you may uh, see the what uh, that what is the surface level of wave, what is the deep level of wave, and what is the dark wave. So dark wave, dark wave is a very dangerous 
where criminals are performing their job. So uh, identity theft basically is crimes in which someone wrongfully obtains and uses another person's personal data in some way that involves fraud or uh, deception, uh, typically are uh, economic gain, uh, financial profit. For their personal profit, they are doing like that. So identity, that, but there are some techniques, some methods uh, that may save your system from the identity theft, uh, like the uh, um, mail theft, uh, like the mail theft. So uh, this is a stealing credit card, bills and junk mail directly from my victims mailbox or from public mailbox on the street. Another technique is uh, dumpster uh, diving. So dumpster diving, uh, retrieving some personal paperwork and discarded mail, what you may discard the mail, they get it from trash dump, uh, dumpsters. Um, that is uh, an easy way for an identity thief to get information of you or your system or your networks. So recipients of um, uh, we approved credit card applications often discard them without uh, shedding them first, which uh, greatly increases the risk of uh, credit card theft. Uh, another technique is uh, shoulder surfing. This one, shoulder surfing. <clears throat> so this happens when the thief brings information is the victim fills out uh, personal information on a farm, enter passport on um, the key paid or provide a credit card number over the uh, telephone what we share so they get it and uh, another fourth one is the phishing phishing is also technique what they do in this in phishing uh, identity theft occurs uh, like because phishing involves using email to uh, uh, people into offering up their uh, personal information so phishing emails may contain Attachments uh, bearing malware designed to steal personal data or links to credulent uh, websites when people are uh, prompted to enter their information. So, uh, how we can save ourselves from identity thefts? I just give you some tips. The, by using those tips, you may prevent uh, yourself, your system, uh, your networks, your servers, your organization from the identity theft. Because when entering any personal information on the internet, make sure the connection is encrypted. This is the first tip when you are using internet, confirm it is encrypted. A connection encrypted with HTTPS is usually in indicated uh, the similar lock icon in the address for I discuss HTTP, HTTPS and other encrypted algorithms of uh, techniques to you in my previous lectures, if you remember. So HTTP is, um, uh, is basically hyper transfer, uh, hypertext transfer protocol secure that make it secure. So if you look at your URL, if it's only HTTP, it's not secure. But if it's HTTPS, then it's uh, secure. So you must, uh, when you purchase a domain, when you purchase a web server, you, it should be secure. And next is a win. Uh, this is the first tip. The second tip is when you purchasing something over the internet. I mean, if you are doing online shopping, unless you plan on buying something from that uh, same company, again, do not store your credit card or personal information on that site. Your personal information may be hacked and you may get a big loss of your money. And Third, and make sure to have an active and up-to-date uh, spyware protection program and antivirus protection program in your system. Means uh, that is a recognized and registered anti-spyware or antivirus software in your system that keep your data safe and secure. So never send confidential information over email because it is not encrypted. Email server is um, uh, email service is uh, encrypted. But what we are sending, that is not encrypted. So anyone can see your data to so make it some confidential. So if, if no doubt, if your email services are fully secure and encrypted, then you may send no problem. But if you feel it is not secure, not encrypted, then don't send your personal information through email or other sources, messages, and so on. 
be aware of fake emails as well and phishing uh, uh, emails that claim to be a company such as your bank requesting any personal information or login information. This is very common. You may get the messages on uh, so, uh, WhatsApp or your mobile phone, or you may get several emails and um, that uh, people show that they are from your bank or from your organization and they want to, to get your personal data. Don't share your personal data to them. They are hackers, they are identity theft, they are uh, malicious uh, mind. They want to hack you. They want to steal your data and your other um, uh, assets. So these are some tips if you will follow them, uh, you may save yourself uh, from identity theft. Now, at the loss of privacy. <laughs> now, loss of privacy, basically, uh, what we do, we, our personal information is stored electronically, means uh, when we generate account uh, for any email service, we get the data for social uh, sites, uh, we need account for I mean, different purposes, we need account. So, our data is there. Means, we have provided data to different organizations. Now it depends on those organizations whether they are keep um, our data secure or sharing with others. But it's uh, stored electronically, so any uh, anything may happen to our data. Therefore, uh, purchases are stored in a database. What type of you are purchasing items? What type of items you are purchasing? And you are entering your data that is stored in database of those organizations. Now, if that organization is not recognized, and uh, then that organization may sell your data to other companies. And this happens commonly. You are getting several messages on your phone, uh, cellular phone, cell phone. You are getting several messages through your email. How they get you, how they got your email or cell number. So definitely such type of the organization companies are selling your data to others. Even the, the don't public your records on the internet because any, anyone may, uh, don't trust anyone on the internet or social media. They may you know, take your data and share with others and you may get a big loss. So internet use, uh, also internet uses monitored and uh, when you log, your all activities are monitored. So definitely when your all activities are monitored means your data is taken from uh, your uh, private farm and it is stored electronically at the platform, platform to get to your computer information and then any thing may happen to you. So, and definitely none of these techniques are illegal because you have public your data. So if someone is taking your data, what you did with it? Cookies are also, cookies are basically files delivered from a website to your system. So um, cookies, uh, even uh, these are the text files uh, with the similar pieces of data, uh, like a uh, username and a password. So that are used to identify your computer as uh, you use a computer network. So data stored in the cookie is uh, created by the server upon your uh, connection. So this data is uh, labeled with an ID unique to you and uh, your computer. And, uh, but, uh, don't accept the cookies. Uh, so, because this is a trait, if you accept the cookie, uh, then cookie will install in your system and the cookie will track your working history and your passwords, emails, and other your work that you do you on your computer system. So, uh, save uh, yourself or your system from the cookies, you must uh, uh, install a uh, browser. Uh, cookie blocking tools that uh, block the cookie or active uh, that uh, firewall on the uh, your system if you are using the Windows or any operating system. But don't accept uh, the cookies if uh, these are not necessary. But if you know the organization uh, uh, website is recognized and proper and you know it, then you may accept to get that data and big data. Now, spyware is a basically unwanted software 
uh, that uh, infiltrates uh, your uh, what uh, commuting device streaming your internet uh, usage data and the sensitive information so spyware is a classified as a type of malware so malicious software designed to again access to or damage your computer often without your knowledge so spyware gathers your uh, personal information and uh, relays it to uh, advertisers data for uh, data firms or uh, external users and so on so when uh, you download the software spyware also download it and designed to record the personal information the personal information typically these are the undesired software uh, softwares so spyware is used for many purposes usually it aims to track and sell your uh, internet usage data capture your credit card or bank account information or steal your personal identity so spyware uh, monitors your uh, internet activity tracking your login and password information and uh, spying on your sensitive information uh, there are uh, some types of the uh, spyware like adware trojan uh, tracking cookies system monitors and so on so adware is the type of the um, spyware and this type uh, of spyware basically tracks your uh, browser history means what you did on the browser how um, which type of the websites you have surfed and what type of downloads uh, you have done so downloads and browser history is uh, observed by the uh, adware type of the uh, spyware uh, with the intent of predicting what products or services you are interested in means this type of the spyware want to know that what type of products and services uh, you are using so maybe it may be used for the advertisement so it it they have displayed advertisements for uh, the same or related products or services to uh, entice you to click or make a purchase so adware is a used for marketing purposes and can slow down your computer as well another type is a trojan so this kind of uh, malicious software uh, the yeah. this guy says uh, itself uh, is a uh, legitimate uh, software for example trojans may appear to be a java or flash player update upon download when you when you download uh, you may get so trojan malware is controlled by third parties means there is a someone in the back of the uh, trojan so it can be used to access sensitive information such as uh, social security numbers and uh, credit card information third one is a tracking cookies that is also type of the spyware so these track the users web activities such as uh, searches history and download for marketing purposes what you are searching what you have google that may be that track by tracking cookies and fourth one the system monitors this is very dangerous this type of spyware can capture just about everything you do on your computer what are you doing because your whole system is a monitored so system monitors can record all key strokes what what are you writing uh, through the keyboard your emails home you are sending from where you receiving your chat room dialogues what are you making chatting with your friends or organization or companies your websites what type of websites you are visiting or surfing and programs are run what type of program software uh, you are running on your system these all are monitored by the system monitors so system monitors are often disguised as a freeware so this is a dangerous type of uh, spyware so you have to take care of these things uh, by installing anti spyware tools or softwares another thing is a web bug now bug is a basically error so web bugs are small programs embedded in the gif images uh, and uh, get around cookie blocking tools even so a web bug is an object that is embedded in a, in a web page or email and usually invisible to user but allows checking that a user has viewed the page or email so common uses are email tracking and uh, page tracking for web analytics alternative names of the web bugs are web beacon most commonly called the web beacon tracking bug tag or page tag 
so common <coughs> common names for the uh, the bugs implemented through an uh, embedded image include tracking pixels a pixel uh, tag is uh, of 1 into uh, 1 cm gif and um, it's a very clear gif so when implemented using the javascript and uh, they may be called the javascript tags they therefore the uh, bugging is uh, the use of these techniques along uh, in analogous to conventional uh, bugging uh, though not is uh, invasive or uh, intrusive so the distinction of uh, a web bug should not be confused with the more benign or benign web spider and are the more malicious uh, nefarious or uh, the subversive device such as the computer worms sometimes uh, some companies used to track the usage they use the web bugs to um, used to track the usage but uh, uh, organization uh, uh, the home user or organization user should block um, say a web bug with this by their killers another um, threat is spam uh, spam is a basically digital junk mail you get the junk mail now junk mail is a basically spam uh, unsolicited uh, unsolicited communication sent in a bulk over the uh, internet or through any electronic messaging system so learn what is spam is how it works how to detect spam and how to uh, reduce the amount of uh, spam you receive you receive so networks and pcs need a uh, spam blocker to get rid of the spam So stop uh, spam before uh, uh, reaching the inbox because spam uh, the recognized emails come to your inbox. Otherwise, the unrecognized uh, emails, which is called the junk mails, go to uh, are considered as the spam. And uh, you see, if you, you go on the navigation side uh, below the uh, inbox, but uh, some steps below you may see the junk mail or spam, and you see there are several uh, junk mails. So uh, spammers acquire addresses using the many methods. Therefore, they use the spam to get your data, to get your information, to take you or to get the benefit. So this is also threat to user. Another threat is the natural disasters. <clears throat> so a natural disaster is a major adverse event resulting from natural process of earth. For example, fevers. uh volcanoes uh, and earthquakes uh, and storms uh, other uh, geologic processes and so on so these are totally natural no one can uh, stop them because we don't know when earthquake is coming when other thing is uh, happening what is happening in future we don't know so this is totally natural process but what we have to do to we have to uh, save our data our systems from these natural disasters So, however, disasters differ uh, by location. Uh, for example, in the uh, USA, there are different type of disasters. In Asia, there are uh, different type of the disasters, and so on. So, typically, result in a total loss. There, yeah, what type of the disaster is there? But it is a it is resulting in a total loss. So, what should we do? Why, well, if you are appointed as a computer security officer, a data security officer, information security? Uh, what should you do so you plan for the recovery if any disaster occurs how you will recover the data what type of the tools uh, will you use and how you should uh, save the data to save from the disaster so always make the backup and store on some online sources that disaster cannot uh, damage them and this to the potential disaster disaster that what type of the disasters occurs uh, coming in your area location plan for all eventualities as these are natural we cannot do anything so practice all plan to save your uh, data and systems the mo- another the most serious threat is definitely the virus so computer viruses uh, uh, perhaps uh, the most well known computer security threat or most serious uh, Uh, threat. Therefore, a computer virus is a program written to alter the way 
a computer operates without the permission or a knowledge of the user. So spyware threats like uh, is spyware threat is also serious threat. Hackers and uh, predators um, are uh, threats. No doubt, phishing is a threat. So no doubt, data is the reason for computers. Uh, if um, uh, the main reason for computer is the data. So if data is not safe, then computers are useless. Uh, then the information security is a useless. Then the, uh, so therefore, uh, security uh, engineers, security officers have to take the measures because data is a very difficult to replace. You may replace the hardware. You may replace the hardware. If any hardware is a, uh, damaging, you may replace it. But it is a very difficult if your data is a, a damaged. So protection is a difficult, no doubt. But not impossible. If you save your data at a proper location online, your data will be stored forever. For example, on any type of any cloud, you may store your data uh, and create a backup on daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis. So the virus is also threat to data uh, because virus is a software that distributes and installs itself automatically. Therefore, a virus is a computer code, a program, or a computer software which is capable of affecting your computer data badly by corrupting or destroying them. So a computer virus is actually a malicious software program or a malware that then infecting your system replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and inserting its own code. Therefore, it damages, uh, it may damage your hardware, it may uh, damage your processors and other things, and it may damage uh, your software, data, and several things. I mean, all things may be damaged which are available on your network or available on your computer system and so on. However, it ranges from, I mean, the annoying to catastrophic. So there are countermeasures um, to save from the viruses. Uh, install the antivirus software, block the pop-up. Pop-up is uh, not good for your systems. Block pop-up and do not open unknown emails which are not known to you. Do not open unknown messages which are not known to know you. So these are very good countermeasures. Another threat is the cybercrime. Now cybercrime is a any activity commissioned via computer or digital device or uh, network used in cyber realm and um, is uh, facilitated uh, through the internet medium. Because cyber crime uh, is um, uh, cyber crime occurs through the internet. If you are not connected to internet, no cyber crime will be done. But definitely, we are always uh, connected with the internet. So therefore, there are major chances of cyber crime so it can um, cyber crime means cyber crime uh, can include the distant theft of information belonging to an individual government or corporate sector through criminal trace passing into unauthorized remote systems around the world so it includes from stealing millions of rupees from online bank to harassing and stalking cyber users so you know, cyber crime using a computer in an illegal act basically is a cyber crime and fraud and theft are common aids on the cyber security. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> user has to take care and uh, take the countermeasures to save uh, from the cyber uh, crime or the internet for, uh, fraud as well. So internet fraud is the same, means it is the use of the internet services uh, or software with the internet access to uh, defraud victims or to otherwise um, uh, take an advantage of them. So scam is a uh, scam means the scam is uh, carried out by compromising legitimate uh, business email accounts through uh, social engineering or uh, computer intrusion techniques to conduct unauthorized transfers of funds or unauthorized transfer of data. So there are different um, categories uh, uh, of the cyber uh, crime, like the hacking, uh, identity theft, the cyber bullying, the cyber stalking, um, financial fraud, digital piracy, computer viruses and worms, malicious softwares, intellectual property rights, uh, money laundering, denial of service attack, electronic terrorism, 
Individualism and several other other types of categories of the uh, cyber crime which are occurs. If your system is not secure, if you have web, <coughs> web websites are not secure, web server is not secure, networks are not secure, definitely cyber crime may be done. So that's also threats to you, uh, your system, your data, your networks, even to you. Another threat is the hacking. That's also type of the cyber crime. So hacking is an attempt to exploit a computer system or uh, a private network inside a computer. Simply, so simply put it is the unauthorized access to or control over computer network security <clears throat> systems for some illicit purposes. So they can uh, destroy, destroy, steal, or even even authorized users from accessing the system. So hacking is basically using a computer to enter another computer, means uh, use any computer to enter another computer to take the ben uh, uh, wrong benefits or uh, the bad benefits. So definitely the, the, it's the motivations to hack us. However, there are different methods of uh, uh, hacking which hackers uh, do, like the sniffing, social engineering, uh, spoofing. So sniffing is the process of uh, monitoring and capturing all data packets that are passing through a computer network using packet sniffers. So data packets captured from a network are used to extract and steal sensitive information such as passwords, usernames, credit card information, and etc. Since the social engineering is a very different uh, techniques and which is used by the hackers nowadays commonly. So social engineering is the art of manipulating people uh, to satisfy the people. Uh, so they give up confidential information to hackers. Means people, hackers make friendship to you and uh, they satisfy you and to get your trust. And uh, when you trust them, then uh, they take your personal information. So criminals use social engineering techniques. Techniques of the criminals, uh, internet criminals, which are available on the internet, which are using the dark web. Uh, they are using the social engineering tactics because it is usually easier to exploit to your natural uh, inclination to trust. Then uh, it is a discover a base to hack your software. Otherwise, uh, what happens? Like in the same thing, they use different computers. Or hacker, they use a computer and go to your system and find information. Then this is a difficult um, task, but they convey a relation to you and um, satisfy you and get your trust and get your information. Third technique is spoofing. Spoofing is the act of uh, discussing and discussing uh, communication from an unknown source is being. Uh, from a known trusted source. So spoofing is uh, uh, often the way a bad actor gains access in order to execute a large cyber attack, such as an advanced uh, persistent threat or a main in the middle uh, attack. So these are the, some techniques which a hacker uses to hack your system. And definitely hacking is a big threat always when you are on internet. Another threat is a distributed denial of service DDOs. So DDOs are take means and, and this DDO is basically attempt to stop public server. They send several um, the requests to stop the public server. So hackers plant the code on the computer and code is definitely simultaneously launched. So, however, uh, the distributed denial of service attack um, uh, occurs when the multiple systems flood the bandwidth or resources of targeted system, so usually one or more web servers. So, a DDO attack uses more than uh, one unique IP address or uh, machines, often from thousands of hosts infected with the, uh, malware. This is a very dangerous thing. Are, uh, very important to understand that is the cyber terrorism. So um, the, after the um, 
mention of internet and the major use because now at you see world is um, globalized because of the internet all the countries all the organizations all the people are connected to each other without any boundary so there's a no boundary when you are connected um, uh, Uh, to internet or when you are using internet a uh, whole um, world is a globe a bridge for you to make access any online uh, resources so therefore the trend of terrorism has changed and these terrorists i told you these criminals are using the dark web it is a very dangerous web so they um, the attacks made it a nation's information the cyber terrorists uh, apart uh, they do that terrorism cyber terrorism while cyber terrorism is a use of the internet to conduct violent acts that result in or threaten a loss of life or a significant bodily harm so in order to achieve political or uh, ideological gains through uh, threats or um, intimidation so it is also sometimes considered an act of internet terrorism where terrorism activities including acts of and deliberate large scale distribution of computer networks especially of personal computers attached to the uh, internet by means of tools such as the computer viruses computer worms phishing and other malicious software and hardware methods and programming scripts so cyber terrorism is um, the use of computer network tools to shut down the critical national infrastructures such as uh, energy transportation government operation security organizations security servers secret missions secret websites and secret servers and so on or to coerce the uh, intimidate a government or civilian population so um, they are using because uh, the target include the power plants and other important um, uh, established servers and organizations which are very much important for any country so this threat first arose in 1996 um, such type of the, the terrorism threat was arose in 1996 so well uh, there are different organizations uh, which uh, combat cyber terrorism which uh, face this cyber terrorism like the computer emergency response team common record cert so cert is a uh, of the computer emergency response team is a group of uh, information security experts responsible for the protection against the detection of uh, and the response to an organization's cyber security incident that organization may be saved from uh, cyber terrorism uh, government cyber security teams are also working on this like the home department Uh, internal uh, organizations and other um, it departments uh, cyber security departments are working on um, these issues that they may save their countries their people their institutions their plants their assets from the cyber terrorism or cyber attacks because now the, the war is a uh, physical wars are going to convert it into cyber wars now this is not time to um, fight uh, physically no now this is a cyber time so war is also cyber so different type of the cyber war terrorism uh, techniques are used to damage the opponent of the enemy country so what we have to do we have to take some protective measures to save our countries to save our organizations to save our institutions to save our systems and networks from the uh, cyber attacks so therefore guard your personal information the first important thing don't share your personal information don't public your personal information and avoid giving account numbers to anyone don't give your account number to even to your trusty person you are personal friend don't share your personal data this is not that time that you share all your resources these are the resources assets don't share it to your uh, known or unknown person never give personal information in email or messages and so on and ensure online shopping is a secure then do it otherwise don't do don't give your personal information means credit card and so on and um, they remove the, the web bugs uh, and spyware from your system 
therefore you must install the spyware removal programs in the antivirus software but keep in mind none are 100% effective to remove the spyware or viruses or bugs so you have to use at least two type of the uh, antivirus or anti spyware softwares and install pop up blocker as well to block the pop up that will save your system so may, for example you are using windows you may activate so these are very extremely effective uh, systems to uh, block the pop up and the viruses and worms to get rid of viruses and worms by installing the antivirus software that is a good antivirus product or uh, spyware anti spyware product to install on your system and keep the product updated all this means if you have installed your antivirus software update is time to time and update your operating system as well time to time that new policies may be installed in your system to keep your system or networks or servers safe from the malwares or intruders or hackers or cyber criminals so limit even the physical access is the easiest way to harm or steal data uh, build an um, account for each user is it don't um, the, allow anyone to physically access your system no no one need to go to the server room or your warehouse room no um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, login uh, email and password for every user how many users are in your organization set a separate password and login details for each other that no one can physically access uh, the, the servers and other things so um, these will uh, make uh, the system safe Use firewall as well because a firewall is a security device, a very significant and important security device that protects your system from unauthorized remote users. So, a computer hardware or software uh, is a firewall. May be a hardware or software that can help protect your network by uh, filtering uh, traffic blocking. Considers uh, they will help you or protect uh, you. Uh, uh, even your network by preventing the traffic and blocking outsiders uh, from gaining unauthorized access to the private data on your computer. This firewall stop the persons outsiders who want to enter your uh, in your computer system or enter the server or enter the <clears throat> networks to get the data or information. So firewalls carefully analyze incoming traffic, what is coming to your network or routers. or to your systems based on pre established rules and policies and filter uh, traffic coming from uh, unsecured or suspicious sources to prevent attacks if uh, the traffic or data is find with a virus or other uh, some bad messages the uh, firewall will stop them so firewalls guard traffic at computers entry point guard ports It is their uh, information exchange with uh, external devices like what you hire the security guard and um, uh, and security guard provide you security at your door. Uh, he or she allow uh, the person who is unknown to you. Otherwise, the uh, security guard don't allow them to enter your home. So you feel security. Same as a firewall. Firewall provide you security uh, at your homes. and to make you make your computer invisible to others is no one can see your computer on the network therefore your system will remain safe for banks for organization for and for any organization even for the home firewall is a very important make the backup often we so backup is a copy of file basically means what you are storing what you are saving what type of the data on your system make backup of it so if you are home user make weekly but uh, if uh, Uh, the data is belongs to organization make backup at least daily and even you may restore it when the data is required to you to may restore the data so you will remain calm and quite safe okay system generates events uh, means computer system any operating system generates messages for events and provide views about the computer health that what is the level of computer if any problem occur system provide you uh, information if any uh, virus uh, entered or any intruder or any thing uh, that is not suitable for your system system provide you uh, information or generate some event or if any uh, computer system needs to update 
generate um, uh, the information event that this computer needs update or this uh, uh, antivirus software needs update. So these alerts make you uh, active and um, save you from the several uh, big problems. So Windows, the Windows, MS Windows includes the event viewer as well. So um, thank you very much, dear students. Uh, it's all about the computer information security, data security, that how computer may be secured, how you may save your data from the intrusions, hackers, malwares, viruses, and other sources that damage your system, that may damage your data, and that may give you loss, that may loss your privacy, that may loss your, uh, that may give a loss to your organization, country, and so on. So take the notes of each slide, uh, repeat this lecture watching, Watch this uh, lecture again and make the notes uh, that will help you in examination. Thank you very much again.